My lady swags. My gentle swags. The entire two swag crew. Cats and dogs and animal alike. Hey, Jack. It's your boy, Xavier Two Swag, back at it again with another episode of that good old Life is Strange Remastered. Yes, sir, bro. Continuing this episode three in the series. Last episode, bro. Chloe and and Maxine reunited again. I'm going to just make it a long story short, bro. Warren got his ass kicked for um, Maxine. Warren got his butt kicked. Chloe came in and saved Max. They met again. They, you know, reunited as friends. To make a long story even more shorter, Maxine told Chloe that um, she has powers. So, boom. That's pretty much all, bro. That's all. That. And we all got the chance to go and see what me and the population of the world that played this game choices were as far as chapter one goes this episode here episode three we will be starting chapter two so this is episode one of chapter two bro and i am as excited as can be bro i honestly truly am grateful that i chose this for my first decision base but with all that being said, I already know I did it, but I still got to start it off with a proper introduction. To all my lady of the two swag crew, bro, what they do, ladies? Into the entirety of the two swag crew, bro. Hey, Jack! I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I sure am. Before we get this video started, bro, if you guys are new here, bro, and you guys have been enjoying your boy's energy, enjoying the vibe, enjoying the presence, bro, please be sure to subscribe. Subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I am doing anything for this channel. And also, before we get this video started, guys, please like up. Like up, bro. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Share the channel, share the content, share the video with everyone, bro. We trying to get more two swag crew affiliates in here, bro. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Episode one of chapter two, episode three in the series. See how I just made a complicated thing so simple. Let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. Um, oh, me. I'm giving y'all a little ASMR too, you know. Snooze that, man. Mm. Go ahead, get on Maxine. Ooh, Square Enix. Oh my God. <laughs> Another W development team, bro. I'm not going to lie. I love Square Enix games, too. As much as anybody knows that that is a, me a OG member of the channel, bro. I am a big Ubisoft head. Or maybe I haven't said this before, but I love Ubisoft games. Sorry. I love Ubisoft games, bro. Like, that's my favorite development company. That's the one development team that I have all of their games. Except they older stuff. Okay, Maxine. Give me one second, bro. Let me get one second. All right, guys. All right, guys, we back, we back. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Zs, but maybe I better save my strength. 
No, yeah, go ahead and get up. Because y'all really want and I ain't going to do nothing but make you more sleepy. Come on, Max. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. <laughs> no cap. Hold on. Fixing my mic. Chloe. Chloe takes me twice. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. Aw, no emojis. Meet me at the diner in 40. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Uh, do not be late or. Okay. Do not be late or I'll know what time is not on your side. Or I'll know time is not your, on your side. After all, you did let Step Dork bust me. Mm. On my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. I had friends like that, bro. But I don't have them anymore. Cause people be weird. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Where your shower supplies at? Oh, and your phone. Oh, mom takes me. The principal emailed me. Okay, yep. Uh, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plants we gave you, but uh, don't drown them. Don't drown it. Don't don't drown it. Don't drown it either. Is that what she said? No, Chloe, mom. Uh, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plants we gave you, but don't drown it either. Huh? I, mommy. What the fuck? Um, okay. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. What is I, mommy? What does that mean? This action will have a consequence. Yeah. Healthy plants. No smiling. Take your power seriously. So music was playing. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. She got 22 pay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so Max writes down some of everything. I know I'm kind of just zooming through, bro, but I'm really just skimming through as quick as possible. And looking at pictures, too, because pictures will tell it all. I know what's going on if I read the pictures. Okay. Yep. Rachel. Mm. What is Rachel Amber? Even Blackwell Academy. Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote. What's it about supposed to literally wallpaper? Okay, so now Warren. Thank God it wasn't porn. And I'm thankful for Warren. <laughs> He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's been just if he's just being nice.
Okay, and so here's Chloe. He says she's become a rebel. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. Max really know how to play his damn guitar, bro. Okay, Max. I ain't mean to cut this out short, but we gotta cut it short. We gotta go. What are your shower supplies? Is this it? Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. What about clothes? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Oh, well. Oh, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. I was about to say, this is the girls' dormitory, right? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I don't give a damn about them actions having consequences, bro. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? <laughs> Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I don't know nothing but Back to the Future, so that's why I'm gonna say that one. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who like doesn't? personally. Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Nice atmospheric shot. I think I already saw Needs it. Needs dusting. I didn't think Kate was like this. Why is it a boy in here? Knocking on those bros. Ew. Ain't this we the girls' dormitory? I mean dormitory. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. Aww. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. I'll do it. So, I'll are you coming it. to the party or not? Yes. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. 
It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max! Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. Get a I bet Warren on, can. Bitch. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Really, Max? Let me just talk to everybody real quick. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Oh, 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 oh. Taylor is no doubt being- I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Okay, well, fuck y'all, you know? Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. So what a shower was it? No brook here. This is my room. Where is room? I mean here. Watch is gonna say something, but I can't leave until I take a shower. No need to go there now. See? Oh, showers. I'm tripping. Kate is not good. I wish David. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. You're welcome, Kate. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. So is this the only shower I can use or do I have a choice? Okay, so it's the only one. I'm about to say it's not about to actually show her showering, is it? No more than some back action. I don't need to, to get no type of strikes on my channel, bro. At all.
What's up, Kate? School. Here we go. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. So why is she still being such a bitch? I don't understand. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. That's fine. Guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Erase. <laughs> Come on, Max. We gotta wrap this shower up. Not you, but the same. Okay, Max. Okay. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Oh, tampon disposal. Whoa, that is nice. The fact that the girls have a tampon disposal in their bathroom is kind of lit, actually. I didn't know that. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Seven. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Hmm. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Okay, so how about, how about you move the glass? Be gone, foul soft drink. And then take the book. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Private number. Bro. Keep your smart ass. Keep your smart ass. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh, Nate, shit. it's Nate. It's Nate. Now I'm getting anonymous it's threats. Nate. It it's never ends. Nate. This has to be from Nathan. Has to be. But it could be anybody. 
I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. <clears throat> Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh my god. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step second, in between? Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Between David and me right. yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe what I can video? help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Not it at doesn't all. sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Of course. It's fucking Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Yeah, exactly. What next? All he I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. What kind of shit I'm is sorry. this? This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. Leave it to me. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. I got you, Kate. Leave it to me. So, Max, can I ask you a question? What's and up? please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. So you have but to But I for know proof I first. was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. Not at all. I just Kate. don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. Don't start that I should have shit. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Well, that's fine. She ain't like what you said, but it's the truth, bro. We got to get proof first. Can't just bring the police into some shit without proof. No, no. What you doing? Chloe. 
Max. Food. Two whales. Can you uh see you there? Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Who do I need? Whose room do I need to get proof from? Who do I need to get proof from? Or like, where do I need to go to get proof? So big bird. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel. Up hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Aww. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Mm. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hey, you little stupid bitch. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria oh, I'll slap mean you. I have to be nice to you. No, let's fight. I'll slap the shit out of you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends? I guess I've had mean <clears throat> bossy best friends too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Hmm. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Taylor, conversation over. Why do they want me to rewind it then? Oh, to talk about her mom. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We 
should do it again. Hmm. See you later. Damn, I can't go back into the dormitory. I wanted to talk to um Kate again. But I wasn't finna change my answer on what I said to her at all. It was still gonna be the same. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that your attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many law and legal reformations. Who fucking cares? Um, you're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you, you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Polite warning my dick, bro. Shut the fuck up talking to me. Fuck you and your son. Prescott Dormitory? Good lord. Nathan's family owns my dorm? What's up, Warren? Warren is out and about already, too. What's up, big bro? Sorry What's that you fine? had to get your ass kicked What are you doing here? But you know, I just oh, know you nothing. love me. Waiting for a call? From who? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Mm-hmm. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You and were your pretty ass badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal <laughs> superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Hell yeah. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall early. yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Okay, so now I can't be saying yes to every damn thing because... Hold on, let me see if I tell them no. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. I fucking love this dude. Come on, let me be right here. So I can tell him yes. Oh, sorry. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. You're a real. You Chloe. I, I busted I him. Weird fucking. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Okay, so what other students are over here before I just officially leave the area? Nobody? So I got her. Who is this? What's her name again? I got Taylor tonight being such a uh, dickhead about Kate's video. Warren being a cool guy that he is. Look at this man, he's just so cool. Warren being the uh, cool guy that he is, he asked me out on a movie date, and obviously I accepted. The man got his ass kicked for me, of course. Why not? And we have to find proof of Nate and them drugging. Well, not even Nate and them. Well, I ain't no telling who was involved. Nate drugging Kate. Cause she wanted to go to the police, but she didn't like the answer that I gave her. You can't just drag the police into something and they have a whole video of you being a quote unquote a viral slut. David talking to Nathan cannot and be. And you a just good think thing. Yeah, it's it's this has something to do with Kate or Rachel. It's not gonna be a good mix. <sighs> then you text me from a private number three to me and your punk ass daddy takes me from a private number three to me. Both of y'all a bunch of bitch ass pussies, no tell. Both of y'all need y'all ass beat. Straight like that.
I'm about to say no copyright music, please. No copyright music and my ears going on. No copyright music in my ears. No, that's wrong. Y'all left my back. I can't let you guys get my back. No, no, YouTube. No copyright music in my ear. Who the fuck is that dude with the brown jacket and glasses? We're on the school bus. Where are we going? Are we going home or are we going to class? I think we're going to school. On the school bus. Yeah. Blackwell Academy Transportation. Yeah. It's a Taco Bell. I just saw a Taco Bell. It's a mechanic. It's a gas station. I mean, I just saw a gas station. But guess what? Guess what though? No copyright music in my ears, cause I'm not trying to get my bag taken from. No copyright music. And it's still playing. No copyright music. Uh-uh, 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 can do it. Uh-uh, 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 can do it. Damn. Gas is 407. Gas is 407, 417, and 427. Bro, hell no, yep. bro. I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's Two whales. I wouldn't dream of Two it. Two whales diner open twenty four seven. Millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Come on, let's go ahead and go get up in here and get some food. I'm hungry. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Tucker. Mm, Tucker. Makes me feel oh, 13. I say a Tucker. That hoe say a trucker. A uh, dude, a cop. Hello, sir. Hey, Mr. Police lady. Officer, sir. You look a little lost. Just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. <laughs> Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Aww. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Sadly? Oh. Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. <sighs> who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or mm. else. Mm. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. Mm. We know each other. Why do you ask? He has he a reputation of being a, a fucking pussy. That's why I'm asking, because he has a reputation of being a little dickhead. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Now he got me want to go talk to Frank. Hey, yo, Frank! Hold on, let me go talk to Frank real quick, and then I'm going to be back in here.
Hey, 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 man. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? What a RV is it? This ain't the RV, is it? Nope. Hello. Hello, oh, man. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. Mm. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Aww. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Aww. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. This song slap, bro. Y'all need to get that man Xavier Two Swag in the studio right now. No copyright music in my ear. Don't say that. Bro, what a oh! What's up, Fisher man? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat. I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. 
Happy fishing out there. All right. So, the RV that the police officer told me to stay away from. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Can I buy some fish actually? Like, can I buy some to I think I've talked my quota for the year. Shut that dog up. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Old guy and a woman in his bed, he walking down the street. What's up, baby? Let me get your number. It's not what I was trying to do anyway. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off one. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. What about this ogre? No time for chit chat. I I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You got it, big bro. Keep drinking. No cap, though. So I couldn't even go talk to him, Mr. Police Officer. Hey, I'll smack you in the back of your bald ass head, big bro. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just okay. let me suffer quietly. Okay, dude. Hello there to you. Oh, Such hell no. You too preppy day. for me, baby girl. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a super. Hey, 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 Enjoy hey, your hey. breakfast, eh? Hey. Maybe you need to lay off the coffee, eh? You need to lay off the coffee, eh? You had a little too much, eh? you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Bro, y'all some fucking dickheads. You a weirdo. He a dickhead. I don't give a fuck about you being drunk off very big, bro. Fuck you and your hangover. This police officer lied to me about the man in the van. What's up? What's up with you, trucker? I don't feel like talking. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. I don't Over give now. a fuck. What about you, Mr. Trucker? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. All right, bitch. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smart ass. I like you. Why are you here? Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. All right, now bro. pardon me while I get back to my coffee. All right, bro. Hey, Joyce, do me a favor. Throw some uh, bacon grease in this bitch ass nigga face. Thank you. I got you, babe. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? How awful! So. But no fucking way. All right, thank you.
What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Hey! Shouldn't you be taking photos? What's up, Justin? I am always taking photos. I like Justin. I Justin am a camera. People. You cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. You stop smoking so all day down. homework, school girl? School? Speaking of butt. Reggie, stop smoking all day, Reggie. Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Oh, that's who that was. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Wow. See you in class, Max. So there are some good people in Blackwell. Not everybody assholes. That's good. Drool. Want everything. Hey, uh, Jules. Hey, Mama J, come here real quick. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Flush before you plea on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Rachel A owes me a BJ. Whoa, so does your mom! Oh, I'm about to say, what booth am I supposed to be sitting in? Found it! Hi, Mama J! How you doing? I know you see me over here. Ooh. With that big old butt! And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. Aww. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help. She got a ass Chloe. too, though. She got busted yesterday wow. smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. Fuck, David. He's a good man. No, he, he ain't. Just, He'll be. Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Mm. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend violent? again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit her. Oh, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. 
He does care about her, along with all the students at Black Whale. That's no excuse to hit a girl. Facts. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Mm, the last waffle. good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the del This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Huh? Beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks Bird like you graffiti. Lauren must have been here. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Hell no. Y'all some nasty The White House people. looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Water cream and sugar, I guess dog. I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! Come out there, Belgian waffle. I can hear your stomach rumbling oh. from here, Max. Oh. Here, you'll love this. Let me get that up off you, Mama Joy. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Hi, Chloe. Hey, sexy girl with the blue hair and no ass. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. At least she getting fed. What kind of punishment is You it? guys are still the same. Another you only get one damn town. slice of bacon in a day. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget key anything. With a panda keychain. She has a box of cigarettes with seven cigarettes in it. She has 75, 86 cent and a warning ticket at the time of 1034 out of Parking Bay, 921.13. Y'all, 86 cent cigarettes, a uh, key cigarettes, 86 cent and the ticket.
So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. So you have keys? Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda bear. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. That's not that's what not else? all you got. You got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you Seven have Seven of them. If you need to know how many you yes, got. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yep. You have money. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You got 86 cent because you a broke nigga cents. like me. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. And you have a parking a ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah. Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Don't say it too Take loud. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. The whole, sure, the whole thing don't need the whole. Um, uh, Donna don't need to know, baby. Chill. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. <clears throat> Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay, Shh. so now he I broke take a cup. This call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. So is that it? The weird lady getting up going to the restaurant? The and the jukebox sure made a fun hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I got you. I just had to tell you everything. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Yup. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, but he does nothing except eat a donut. Well, let's just see how this goes down. This count. This count. This count. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the jukebox goes crazy. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Nope. We gotta go back because I had one thing wrong. I'm going to predict. Okay, so the truck the trucker trucker drops his mug. So what? Um, the cop gets an the alert. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. No, well, his partner Let's just see leaves. how this goes down. Fuck! Justin and Trevor fight, and oh, Joyce doesn't I gotta rewind doesn't back, bro. I gotta rewind this is back getting again. getting good. I gotta rewind <laughs> back to see again. what happens. I gotta rewind back again. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. I gotta go back again. Okay. 
Last I'm going to predict. So, the circle drops the his mug. So, what happens next? The police officer the partners leave. an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, there we go. Joy stops Justin them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting Boom. good. Can't wait to see what happens. And last but not least, the jukebox goes crazy. As a fly lands on it, I want to say a fly. I want to say a butterfly. I don't remember exactly the what. The goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay, let's go. The last part I got wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. That's a butterfly, I think. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. That's so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it's a cockroach. It's a cockroach, 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 it's a cockroach. It's a cockroach. I'm going to predict. I want to get all these right, bro. I got to. Um, the trucker drops his mug. So. The police officer partners leave. Well. Joyce. Justin Stops them from fighting. And a cockroach. There we go. Pretty big. Okay, so now this looks like right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? to go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max <laughs> and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Oh. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, wow. Girl Wonder is crazy. Is she about to pass out? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Oh, no. I gotta pick up. I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I got to, bro. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. So as I heard Kate, no, I had to pick up, bro. This it sucks that Chloe happen. and Joyce got into an argument. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end it, bro. I think this 117 marker is a good stopping point. Hold on. Let's see what goes on at the... Whoa. Why was bro just watching us?
So yeah, this is most definitely an excellent stopping point now since it's got the little save going on. All right, so perfect stopping point. Boom. Life is strange remaster, bro. Whoo, loving this game. Loving this game. Not even gonna lie to you, bro. I'm loving this game. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap it up for episode. That's gonna wrap it up for chapter two, episode one, part three in the series. Let's go, baby. If you guys have enjoyed today's video so far, bro, or if you guys have enjoyed today's video, period blank, go ahead, do your boy a favor, leave a like, bro, leave a comment, share the channel, share the content, share everything, bro, subscribe if you're new, especially if you enjoy my energy, vibe, presence, you know, all that good stuff, bro. On top of subscribing, bro, be sure to turn on that post notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I am doing anything for this channel. I can't help but brag on this game, bro. I love the fact that this is the route that I decided to go as far as decision-based. There's a lot of decision-based that I want to play. I swear to you guys, there's a lot of decision-based that is going to be played. Just so happy this beautiful game just to be the first one. I truly do love this game. True Colors being my favorite out of them all. I have played True Colors for myself, and I have completed True Colors. But hopefully this time around playing True Colors, I actually get the ending that I should have gotten the first time. I feel like I had a good ending, but hopefully I get a better one. Thank you guys so much for all y'all love and support on this series so far, bro. I really do love and appreciate it. Thank you for everybody that found my channel or that has found my channel, regardless of however you may have found it, bro. There also is a link down below that will take you to all of my links, all of my links being the main channel, my extras channel, and back here to the gaming channel. It'll take you to Twitch and all my social medias, bro. Go sub up and turn on post notice for the other channels, bro. Go follow a bro on Twitch so that way you'll be notified whenever I go live. Go follow me on social media as well, bro. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I don't think I have my Facebook tab in there, but I need to put it in there. All those and more, bro. And with all that being said, good morning, good evening, and good night. Depending on wherever you guys have tuned into this video from in the world, bro. And I will see you guys later for part four in this series. Peace out, y'all. Love y'all now. I appreciate y'all. Someone tell Nathan, money ain't gonna solve your issue. Stepping up to Warren Magazine. Hands are getting issue. Kate, I saved you from your fate. No need to cry. Pass the tissue. I don't wanna see you gone. Cause you are love. I will miss you. Cause we came through with the strap. We can turn a detrimental gun flash for the graph. I should drop by the chip mark up in the lap. Uh, experimental don't laugh. Cause he had Sometimes I feel paralyzed